Coca-Cola and PepsiCo, which have spent years and millions of dollars building up demand for their drinks in Muslim-majority countries, are now facing a challenge. As the war rages in Gaza, more active consumers in these countries are boycotting brands that represent the United States, a strong supporter of Israel. In Egypt's local cola brand V7 exported three times as many bottles as last year, while sales of Coke plummeted. In Bangladesh, an outcry forced Coca-Cola to cancel an ad campaign against the boycott. And for Pepsi, rapid growth across the Middle East evaporated after the Gaza war began. V7 company founder Mohamed Noor said the company has expanded around 40% in the local market and exports have tripled. In Jordan, a sign reads, Attention, this is a boycotted product, the choice is yours. It's prompted Walid al Sayoudi to shop differently. The boycott played a major role in making me think again about local and Arab products. We are able to develop these local products through our purchases and support. We are capable of making better products than the boycotted products. Bawaz Idris is the senior vice president at Abu Isa Holding, which distributes soft drink Kinza across Qatar. He believes the boycott will have long-term effects. Mainly because uh, this, is, this boycott is happening by uh, young people and they have very, very strong uh, beliefs. And in my opinion, they will not kind of let go of these beliefs very easily. Second reason, uh, it's habitual. Once people switch, it's very sometimes very difficult for them to go back to uh, their old habits. In the six months following the October 7th Hamas attacks on Israel that triggered the invasion of Gaza, Pepsi said its drink volumes in Africa, the Middle East and South Asia division barely grew. That's after notching up 8% and 15% growth in the same quarters a year previous.